best defense you've seen so far this year is? Wow. Um, you know what, defense, man, I mean, you know, the Cowboys defense was pretty good. I think the Rams defense has the potential to be really good. Um, the Saints are playing well at, the, well at the right time. I don't think there's a dominant defense or a dominant team in the league, Dan. Uh, I, I think there are mm. several defenses that have the potential when they need to get a stop. And, and ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. But could the because Bears you know, win on de- just defense alone? Could the Bears go to the Super Bowl? Uh, no, because as, as good as the Bears are defensively, and, and they are truly good, um, I still think Mitchell Trubisky is going to have to make a couple plays. And, and, he, and here's the plays I'm talking about. I'm not talking about scramble around, run around, and everybody gets up screaming, Mitch. I'm talking about at some point it's going to be 3rd and 10, 3rd and 12. He's going to have to drop back, plant his back foot, and throw something about a 15, 18-yard dig. And he's got to do that in probably cold weather. He's got to do that in probably a hostile environment. I think that's the thing that I need to see from him to be more consistent. Now, that defense is really great, but you know, you're going to have to score points to win, and, and I think he can do it. I just need to see it against a New Orleans, maybe down in the Dome. I need to see it against the Rams out in L.A. Yeah. That'll be the test for him. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I think uh, same with Jared Goff. The, these are the two quarterbacks I have the biggest concerns, but the upside is you could go to the Super Bowl. The downside is you could lose your first game. Uh, Goff with where they are, Gurley's banged up. Um, they just don't feel like they're in sync quite as – they feel like they're a little more vulnerable here. The most dangerous team going into the postseason will be who? Los Aside Angeles from, Chargers. Okay. Right. I think they're the best football team on the other side of the conference. When I say other side, I mean the AFC. You know, everybody's talked so much about Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. And, Dan, don't get me wrong, they've been phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal, but but I think if you looked at top to bottom, who the most complete te- team is offensively, defensively, special teams wise, I would lean toward the Chargers over the Chiefs. Um, you know, I'm I'm not going to ever discount Brady and Belichick, but I think the news yesterday with Josh Gordon is going to hurt them at, at some point. Pittsburgh being just too inconsistent for me defensively, I would put a little coin toward the Chargers and feel pretty good about it. Going into the playoffs, the most valuable non quarterback is who Aaron Donald, because if, if, if Aaron Donald plays great and dominates, here's what he does. Number one, he makes plays, but number two, he kind of sets the table for everybody else with, you know, Dante Fowler Jr. And Dominican Sue, maybe he'll come out of hiding and get off the bill carton at some point. Uh, if, if, if Donald <laughs> is Donald to me, he's the best uh, defensive player in the game. And that's no disrespect to Khalil Mack, JJ Watt or any of those guys. But I just feel when you have a dominant force coming up the middle of your offense, it's different than an AX guy. Uh, best team is who? Wow. I'll give you one from each conference. I'll give you the Chargers on the AFC side and on the NFC side. Um, man, I, I know it doesn't look like it, but I, I'm still going to lean toward the Rams because I, I think over the last two years, hmm. if you just look at a two-year sample, what the Rams have done, I think they've been the most consistent. Now, they haven't always played uh, played well because their offensive line really got punked by the Eagles. But I think I'm going with the two-year sample. I'm going with the fact that Sean McVay might be one of, if not the most innovative minds I've seen in a long time. And I'm just going to lean on consistency. And I think Tlaib and Peters on the defensive side with Donald and, you know, Jared Goff, if they can protect Jared Goff, I think Jared Goff can get it done, but I, like you, have the most questions about he and Trubisky. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.